Here is the uh, follow-up video to the Orgrimmar 5 Mask Perfect Vision run. So I said I was going to make it the week later or whenever Stormwind came out. And now Stormwind came out this week. And here is the 5 Mask Full Clear Stormwind run. Let's put some sound on. So when I recorded this, um, I forgot that my the software I used to record, I forgot to turn that microphone off, so it kind of picked up all my keyboard clicks and my mouse clicks. Um, so there's going to be a lot of that in the background, not just game sound, unfortunately, but it's better than nothing, I guess. Um, so this is just very similar to the Orgrimmar, as far as like my tips go for this as a discipline priest. Um, just take your time, do things uh, smartly in like a, in a slower, not slow, but in a smart manner, meaning take like, take your time, know what you're doing when you go into it, know that you're not pulling too many or you're not pulling too little. Um, yeah, just, just take your time and do it to the best of your ability, I guess. Is, can't really put the words, but smartly means, I guess, um, but I understand it. So here, just dotting everything up like normal. Um, dot everything up, I'm spamming my keyboard because I, I see 222% haste and I think the faster I click, the faster it's going to go up, but there's still a global cooldown. Um, but yeah, not, no problem mobs here in the first zone. Um, similar to my Orgrimmar one, I don't go for any odd crystals, I don't go for any um, chests, and I don't go for any of the potions. Um, I just go through, I don't kill all the mobs either, I just go through and I complete each zone pretty much. Just go through just to show we can do this as a Discipline Priest. Um, granted, I'm pretty well geared, my corruption is pretty good. Um, my my mother tree is maxed out, which I highly recommend if you're going into this, trying to do five mass full clear, I highly recommend. If not maxed out, at least have get to the Titans up. Um, this week right here, very handy, very useful. There is one for people who are farming this type of stuff that shows how many crystals you have for each zone and how many boxes you have open for each zone, um, and it shows how many you don't have. I don't know where that weak guard is. I've seen other streamers with it. Um, I have not found it on wago.io myself. But uh, it's out there somewhere, and if someone's watching this and they know which one I'm talking about, it'd be cool if you left it in the comment. I, I showed my my setup before I started. Typical. This is my pretty much my mythic plus setup. Also, uh, full offensive, um, schism, mount trinket, crucible flame major. Just things to do DPS because there's no reason to try and have more healing throughput in this because there really is not the need for it unless you pull big. But that's not really the name of this game. The name is to this is a bar we care about, our sanity bar here, and we can't heal that up via our class abilities. We need like consumables for those. And these, this run and my Orgmar run, don't use any consumables because I just want to show that it is possible to get it done without using any of that good stuff. Of course, if you plan on doing five mass full, full clears, going for all the crystals and the boxes and killing all the mobs. Um, I would highly recommend using consumables in, for those. I just do not have the patience for these. I do not really care for this type of content. I do my weekly to get my Malefic Core and my one weekly for my 5 Masters to see what that 470 piece I can get with Corruption on it. Maybe I can get a piece of Corruption I've been waiting for or I just missed the Mother Bender 
and now I got a 470 piece and see what plays I can make with it. Um, those are pretty much the only times I've been here. Uh, other than that, I kind of stay away from this type of content. I just find it a little bit more annoying than enjoyable for me. It's not like bad by any means, it's just not what I care to do because I, it might just be like my class too. Because I feel like there's just some mobs in here and some of the madnesses we deal with. It's just like, they, it's, sometimes there's no counterplay, it just feels like, okay, I gotta sit here and not play my character for 8 seconds. I didn't, I didn't, I'm not paying $15 a month to not play my character for 8 seconds. Which is a bit extreme, obviously, but I feel like the point is in there somewhere. those out of the way. That was a very unfortunate kick. Just need to log out of Discord. Don't want to hear that in the background. But yeah, those uh, little barrels that get tossed, you can just click on them and you kick them away. I did not know they bounce off walls like they just did there, but they did. Uh, I'm here trying to make some play because I know how much this hurts, the searing gaze. I mean, look how much health it just did to me, how much damage it did to me. So for those mobs, I highly recommend any mobs that do searing gaze, which you deal with here, you'll deal with in the fourth zone if you do the route I'm doing here. Um, I would highly recommend those being a priority target for your DPS, for your trinkets, your crucible flame, your schism, solace, penance, smite, smite spam, things like that. These informants here are also kind of tricky. They do, I think, two casts of void bolts, and then they do a five second stun, which if you don't have your knockback ready or your fear ready, you're just stunned for five seconds, and it can get really annoying because when you're stunned, you might get a haunt from Shadow's Madness, you might get a fear for another two seconds, you might get hit by a dark smash, you might start walking around inside your burning bridges, and then you're just losing sanity and you have no control over it. So I would recommend killing those informants first and foremost if you can. If not, try and be clever about your fear usage and your knockback usage. This mob here, this mob here is real easy to deal with. She does a circle AOE and right there, and then she also does a frontal cone. Both very easy to avoid. So you just step out of Roaring Glass and we're good to go. Get hit by any of these and you'll see here I get chunked pretty hard. I mean look how much sanity that takes away. So best place to obviously not get hit by any of those if you're crunching for sanity. Leaded foot. You know, leaded foot's pretty annoying. I mean all these madnesses are actually pretty annoying. I do like the dark power one where if you stand in it you get more power, if you don't you do less damage. To me that one is perfectly fine. The things that like make you lose control of your character are just bugging me so much. So this elite here, I really don't even know what he does. 
I think I just burn him and just kind of... I know he does like a few casts, but I don't know honestly what they do. I know sometimes he... I think it's like a, a ground targeted a ground targeted cast, and if you stand a bit, you just silence permanently until you step out of it. I think that's his main mechanic. I don't really know, I just... Um, kill it as fast as I can. I don't have to really deal with it. That's my recommendation for this guy coming up. I mean, ultimately, there almost seems to be like no place for us as Discipline Priest in these. It's kind of like we're at the mercy of the horrific vision and how smartly we play with what we know. And you'll see here, I kind of get messed up because I'm moving way too much. And those tendrils there, those little tendrils, that's what sounds to you if you stand in it. But I'm moving way too much and just raising my stack of leaded foot for no good reason. I started panicking for some reason and started just trying to kite and I don't really know why. Um, but don't do that. Another big tip I can provide is don't move unless you absolutely have to move. Um, other than that, or otherwise you'll do what I just did there and start giving yourself stacks of lead in foot for no reason. So Shaw here used to give me such a hard time until I figured out, and by figured out I mean I watched someone else's video on how to do visions. Um, so the dark eyes, they don't do anything to you, right here, the eyes of chaos, they don't do anything to you if your back is turned to them. So you see like, see I turn towards him, and now I'm starting to get hit by the lightning, I turn away and it's gone. So you see this, most of this fight, like I'm just kiting but not facing Shaw. Well, doing my best not to face him because if I do, like, that is chunks of sanity, 20 sanity. That is nuts. So, if you are someone watching this and you're struggling right here on a shot, you just you use Nor before you start, you use Bubble, you use your um, cheap death orb on a shot, and maybe you're watching this now and hopefully you learn, like, okay, so this is how I, this is a counterplay to shot. Okay, so now I don't need to playing like a big cooldown or plant that you lose an orb or lose my reroll orb here. And that was such a big play for me also there. I got that uh, thing from beyond pretty much from, I forget what mask it is that spawns it, but you're under like 50% of your sanity and it spawns one for you. So it was nice, I got my gift of the Titans proc there and then I didn't really even have to, I didn't have to worry about the shot, just had to stay away from damage. Not to my sanity because gift of the Titans does not allow sanity loss. You get haste and you don't lose any sanity so if you have that you're pretty much invincible so to speak in terms of sanity loss. So you can stand in bad, get hit by bad, as long as you're not taking like actual physical damage to your health. So the, what I'm doing here, like the route I'm running, <clears throat> I don't really have a set route. I don't really have like, okay, I need to do this because this is like, I don't know, most efficient for my cooldowns or something nerdy. <clears throat> I just kind of pick a play, I pick a way and I just run with it and I just deal with whatever in front of me, honestly. So when I say at the beginning of the video, like play it smartly, I mean like kind of know what the mobs did. Know not to pull, okay, oh look, three guys are gonna, cast a searing gaze on me. I'm dead because I can't handle three stacks of searing gaze. That's what I mean by that. Don't play like so callously that you're just pulling anything in sight like it's a heroic dungeon or something or it's a, this is a no mask clear. Don't play it like that. You want to give it the respect pretty much and in turn you'll, you'll start completing these. You'll start completing these. I wanted to say timing these but that's not the right term so you'll start completing these five masks 
and you'll start seeing them as farmable content, honestly. Because at this point, I do see them as farmable, but I just don't care for them. Here I get into a pretty uh, bad situation, I'm trying to run away, getting knocked away by my scorched feet. Yeah. And this is the part I'm talking about, like, to me this is not fun. Like, I'm losing control of my character, there's something coming to try and fear me so I lose more control of my character. There's mobs trying to knock me up. Not give me a baby, but in the air. And that's more loss of control. Yeah, so this is more loss of control that I'm just like, okay, this is... Is this over yet? Am I almost done? Can I go back to doing keys or something else? So yeah, I start cutting, getting knocked away by scorched feet, trying to get out of bad. And I start pulling a bunch and I honestly thought I was losing I thought I was losing my reroll orb here and I was actually it probably would have hurt me because I know the last boss and even the second to last boss, the way I run it where polymorphing box that one, the mage warrior. That's the one I kinda I save I want to save my reroll for that and I want to save my reroll for Illyria at the end. Uh, and I don't know if I actually had to use a reroll at all this one. I don't remember. This guy here, I was trying to be smart and LOS that there. Maybe I could LOS it on the uh, wall back here or around the corner over here. Um, I didn't want to try it just because I started like kind of panicking, like looking my sanity go away. So I just started spamming, boom. Oh, thank god. So maybe that wall could LOS it, I'm not really sure. That's something I could try and when I'm just starting to farm these and just get my echoes. So that boss there, I would highly recommend since we don't have, we can't do anything to stop that agonizing, whatever it was, that channel beam that just deletes our sanity. I would recommend that's the boss. Instead of the one I'm fighting now, that last one I just did, I would recommend putting your cooldowns into that, your single target cooldowns into that one. Because this one here is just mostly a game of, okay, I'm um, getting chained, I can't move, but if I, I can run away, but if I get sucked into the mob, I'll get stunned. But that's nothing hard to deal with, honestly, as far as sanity loss goes. Yada yada yada, go up in all these, yada yada yada. Another steering gaze. There you go, standing in the promised power. I called the dark power earlier. Whoops, it's called the promised power. So yeah, just stand there, get some extra damage just because I want that mob to come. To me, this has got to be the worst, the worst zone with leaded foot because you don't know. You might be in combat with one of these little uh, tumors on the ground. What do they call it? Yeah, corruption tumor. You might be in combat with one of those, and your dots just slowly ticking away, and you're trying to run, but you can't. And you're looking around you're like, why is there? There's no mob hitting me. Why am I so slow? And now I have to stand still, and now I have a haunting shadow about to hit me. You know, like it, it could be a dot and. This is why like leaden foot sucks here. So I would just recommend be cautious of where you're putting your dots out to. Um, and if, you're, if something does get dotted up by you, be smart about it and kill that thing off before you try running away. Here is another area. I think I do get hit by it. Ooh, man, that was close. Yeah, but again, this is another leaden foot. Almost got into a haunting shadow. So almost got into the knocking up mechanic from the tendril there. Okay, so I use an orb here, which is totally fine. You don't need to, I mean, unless you're trying to give yourself some type of personal challenge, but there is no in-game achievement for saying like, oh, look, I never used an orb. I never used a reroll orb. Like, give me a mouth, give me a title. There's none of that. If you just hold on to it, you're just doing it for your own personal your own personal achievement, I guess. So I thought about doing that mob there, because I had my Gifts of Titans Brock, 
but I do know the mob is kind of sketchy. There's really no counterplay as a discipline priest besides run around in circles, avoid the purple swirls that hit the ground, and don't stand in front of him when he does a frontal charge. I mean, that's pretty much it. But I just I know like these little corrupted minions or whatever it is that just roam around the zone, they could have came and caused even more issues. I could have accidentally got hit by a purple swirl that I didn't want to. I just didn't really want to deal with that. Not yet anyways. I'd rather have a more clear area to kite with. So here I tested running behind with Shadow Bolt. And there is no LOS. It just still happens. Actually now that I looked at it, that did not look like I was totally LOS anyways. Even so I don't think I don't think it would work. Maybe a bigger tree? I don't know. So here is the two mobs I was referring to earlier. They posted that mind play, searing gaze, whatever it's called. They chunk my health, and obviously you see it there that it just chunked away right on my health. And so those are the two mobs. Fear one, focus target the other one, knock them both away, try and focus them both down at the same time, whatever. However you want to go about it, however you feel most comfortable doing it. Just wanted to point out, like, those are the problem mobs for me, anyways, in this in Storm League. The informants about a zone, I think it was two zones ago, the informants that do the five second stun, and then anyone who does a mind play or searing gaze, those to me are the hardest mobs to deal with as a discipline priest. So, those are the ones that I want to put more of my attention onto. Okay, we're finally finishing up here, or almost finishing up. Nice gift of the Titan's Brock for no reason, because I can't do anything with it, as far as using it on another elite mob. So I'm, I'm just going to face Umbric without a Gift of the Titan's Pride. I almost got one later on during, during the fight because I was waiting because my thing from beyond spawn. I was waiting for Leaded Foot to drop. I was like, alright, cool, I'm going to make a good play here. And I kill the thing and it doesn't happen. So we'll see here. I also got a little nervous because he ran to the top of the stairs there and stopped. I thought he was going to reset, and I would have been like, F, big F. So, I mean, this mob, like, what, what do we do, right? The only thing we can use is a consumable. Also, actually, I was reading the Discipline Priest Discord. Someone mentioned, if you want to play Conflict and Strife and Major, which you can change your essences, and your talents in the middle of a run. You don't need to go into a rested zone, you don't need to go to Orgrimmar or whatever. You can do it like when you're out of combat. So you can use, I guess, Premonition breaks Polymorph somehow. I don't remember how it does it, but I was reading on there and it says like, yeah, if you're having problems with Umbreak, just switch out real quick to Confidence Strike Major and press Premonition and you'll break right out of it. It's like, oh wow, it's a pretty cool play. But I also took it slow and I'm fine and I live and I complete the five mask. So that right there is what I was talking about just a little bit earlier about hopefully getting a gift with Titan's Proc and I did it. Here I took, I didn't have to wait so long, but I did. And I just did, okay, you hear you. So my mic was on, the camera mic, and you hear me go. I did absolutely nothing <laughs> and I got effed. Got absolutely nothing. Or did absolutely nothing, got polymorphed, boom, effed. 
Okay, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use one more orb here before I start because why not? I'll go at it 100% sanity. And if I need a reroll, then I use a reroll for my cheat death. Again, my thing from beyond here. I think I do. I get a gift of Titan's Rock here, but my sanity is not 100%, so I was kind of actually annoyed. So I wanted 100% sanity and then get to the Titan's Rock because, I mean, right? Like, why would I not want both of those things? So I'm wasting seconds waiting for my sanity to restore, but I get a little bit of use out of my gift of the Titans. So I tried sidestepping there for no reason because that's a sanity damage and I was standing, I get to the Titans and I was doing nothing and then also I was still standing standing in my orb and I was just going to replenish my sanity anyways. Polymorph standing all over my burn bridge. Try and get a little bit out of this promise power. So I just run into this promise power here, yeah, and then I just tunnel my damage into it, trying to go faster than him than her depleting my sanity, and it works out for me, and that's it guys. That's it. Five mask, storm wind, full, full clear. Oh, again, like I call my full clear, or to me a full clear is all your odd crystals, all your boxes, all your mobs dead. So I didn't do that, but five mask, full zone clear. I guess we'll call it that instead. Pretty easy, once you, especially when you get the gear for it, you have the mother tree for it, and you have the patience for it, really. I mean, that's gotta be the biggest thing, is the proper patience and proper knowledge of what, sh what mobs are ahead of you and what they do. Um, but yeah, my, my tips would just be to pretty much everything I said about the video, just take your time, play it smartly, know the mobs you're dealing with, know the mobs what you're dealing with, um, plan properly with your orbs, um, plan to like, okay, I know I'm going to want full sanity for this boss, or I know I'm going to want full sanity for that boss, or okay, I know I can always my reroll on this boss because I just, that makes me feel comfortable. Whatever it is, highly recommend just taking a little bit of time, a little bit of effort, and doing that before you go in. And then when you are in there, you got your five masks on and you're ready to crush it, just take your time with it. Don't over pull. Don't feel like you're pulling too slowly either. Yeah, you got sanity tick, slowly taken away, but it is pretty slow, and especially when you have most of your mother tree filled out, and you kill an elite, and you get 200 back. I mean, you're, you're good to go. Um, I didn't use any consumables. I didn't take any potions. But obviously, all that stuff is there for you, get, for you guys to use and make these runs go a lot more smoothly, a lot more easier, and just a lot, I guess, less stress on you as a player dealing with these things. But that is it for this video, guys. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you guys gained a little knowledge from this. Um, hopefully you guys are watching this and maybe you see something you do differently or you like the way I did something. Either way, just let me know. Um, yeah, thank you all for watching.